Welcome to another whiteboarding video. My name is Dominic, and I'm an OpenShift consultant with Red Hat Consulting. My name is Chris, and I'm an OpenShift consultant with Red Hat Consulting out of the West region. So Chris, I'm looking to host my web applications and databases on OpenShift, and I've noticed it's a lot easier to ingress HTTP traffic to OpenShift than it is for the database. Can you explain how HTTP or HTTPS traffic works? Sure. So, Let's say we have a web user that wants to get to our application running inside of OpenShift. Our web application is actually a JBoss application with a Postgres database. We come out of the box with what's called the OpenShift router, which is essentially an HA proxy instance that will, pro will send traffic from the edge of our cluster to our JBoss container in this case. Cool. I'm noticing that the, um, the traffic is getting uh, passed from one container to another on different app nodes. That's pretty nifty. Can you tell me what else the router can do? Sure. The router supports HTTP, HTTPS, and TLS encrypted connections with SNI headers. This allows you to ingress basically layer 7 traffic. So Chris, I see it's, it's easy to connect our web application to our database, but how do I get external traffic into the database? Sure. So we can use an OpenShift concept called node port to expose a high number port that proxies traffic directly to our database. In this case, we have 32,100. So we can actually access our Postgres database directly as if it was listening on 32,100 from the edge of our OpenShift cluster without having to be inside of it. So you're saying if I make a request to an app node at 32,100, um, OpenShift will will transfer the request along. Does it matter which app node I, um, I request to? No, it doesn't. And the way node port works is it actually exposes this port on every node within your cluster. OK. Well, that sounds useful, but maybe a little superfluous. Is there a way that I can maybe just have one IP for that database? Sure. Because we're running this OpenShift cluster in Red Hat OpenStack, we can use an OpenStack concept called LBAS, which stands for Load Balancer as a Service. OpenShift can dynamically provision these LBAS instances from OpenStack, which allows us to expose a single IP as well as a single port, as if Postgres itself was running on this LBAS's VIP as well as port. OK, cool. So this LBAS will then load balance to all the app nodes. Exactly. Perfect. Now, can you give a real world example of why we would want to open up a database like this? Sure. So one reason why customers like to use LBAS to ingress traffic directly to databases is because a lot of customers run cross-cluster communication between two sites for disaster recovery purposes. So, for example, let's say that I have an OpenShift cluster in Raleigh, North Carolina, as well as an OpenShift cluster in California. Our OpenShift clusters both are running databases, and these databases need to be in real-time sync. Because we can't replicate our databases using the OpenShift router, we can use the LBAS instance to actually have our databases directly communicate with each other and perform replication between the two. This allows us to lose an OpenShift cluster and still have a fully up-to-date database because of the replication. Awesome. So we have high availability if we use database replication and we connect our two clusters. That's great. If someone were looking for more information on this topic, what should they do, Chris? They should go and talk to their Red Hat account executive or go to redhat.com forward slash services to learn more about consulting and training. 